I created the primer for our youngest students, ages about three and a half to five or six, who want to play the piano but maybe aren't ready for a full-fledged reading program yet. Maybe they haven't even really learned much about how to read at school, but if they have an interest in music or perhaps they have a sibling who plays, they might want to get started. So inspired by another method that I have a lot of training in, I set out to create something similar that we could use with Paloma that would transition the students from this primer into our regular Paloma piano program. So the book, the primer book is on the website and it comes in two volumes, primer book one and primer book two, and you can print them out and just pop them into a binder and then use them with your students. There are six units. Each unit starts out with a little story. I call it a story and it's a little rhyme about what they're going to be learning about piano. And what I do with my students is we read through this at every lesson. That's how we begin our lesson. Usually we greet and we say hello and then we start by reading the story. After a while the students have it memorized, so that helps. And there's also different skills in there. They can practice sitting, they can practice their posture. There's some games that you'll find on the website, a sheet of games that you can play with your, your um, primer students. And then once we finish reading through that, we usually go on to some of the music in the unit. And they're just little pieces. The first one is a one finger song. The kids just have to play middle C. You play the rest, it fills it out, makes them feel like they're really playing some music. It's a lot of fun. There's different ones with left hand and right hand and some of the ones have high notes and low notes and things like that. There's some improvisation examples in there that they can play through. It just, as you progress through, you'll find the different lessons. On the website, there are four videos for the first four units. Those are the ones with the music and they can listen to them and I put some artwork in so they can look at it or actually watch it on TV. It's like a little show. I find that my students who listen learn the music that much faster so it helps them. It's a little bit of ear training. Also, there is a student primer book which has all of the music in the primer printed out with really big alpha notes and fingering numbers so if that kind of helps them to learn as well. As I said, I'm not trying to teach them reading at this point. I'm just trying to give them a fun experience with the piano so that they can have some fun, learn, get used to the idea of coming to a lesson every week, listening to the teacher, maybe a little bit of practicing at home, and the feeling of being able to make music as well. Um, the skills that they will learn in the primer, besides just some basic ear training and listening, is they will learn their fingering numbers, one through five on each hand. They'll learn the names of the notes and keys. They'll learn the music alphabet. There's some things on there about what is music. Music is organized sound timbre, rhythm, and pitch, how to keep a steady beat. So they are learning a lot, but we're just not doing reading yet. So however you can get them to play the music, that's what it's all about. Just that they can have a good time, maybe learn some relaxation of the hands, some, some good technique. If you have a, a foot bench and a, a piano bench that can raise up a little bit, sometimes that's helpful if they're real small. So those are the kind of things that we're working on in the primer. Some of the students do the whole primer, and at the end, I really don't feel like they're ready to go on to reading yet. So then we'll just repeat some of it. There's six units. If each of them takes about a month to do, they should be able to get through in about six months. Some of my students will get through the first two or three units in the primer, have fun, and then I just feel like they're getting bored with it and they're ready to go on to reading. So I'll jump them right into book one of Paloma Piano Program. You don't need to do all the primer. Book one, anybody can start with book one in the Paloma Program and be ready to read. So that's kind of how it's set up. If you have any further questions about the primer or anything about the primer, you can email me. My email is on the website or you can contact me in the forums and we can have a discussion about it. But that's kind of how we're starting out with the primer and I thank you for listening.